It's a matter of opinion. We're going to start with the Boston Celtics, Emu Odoka. So for those who don't know, Emu Odoka was suspended from the Boston Celtics for allegedly having, you know, sexual relations with women on, in, on the, in the Boston Celtics organization and violating co um, company policy. But the interesting about it was that he was the only one that was suspended. So investigation came like they did an investigation and they're later saying in the investigation that boss boston celtics found coach emu adoka used crude language and dialogue with female subordinate prior to the start of improper relationship now the thing about that was it's reported that the relationship was consensual and this story brought a lot of heat on like not a lot of heat but it brought a lot of um confrontation between those on in the East ESPN platform, such as Malik, Malika Andrews, Stephen A. Smith, them going back and forth, the whole nine. But we're not going to get into that. The main thing we're going to get into is the alleged reason on why he was the only one that was suspended. So a person on Twitter by the name of Khalid Abdullah pretty much has a NBA inside source. So this is the alleged reason that he's reporting on what actually happened. So it says, heard some things about Emi Odoka's situation from friend at NBA League office. We'll see what's real when the news drops. Emi Odoka and Nia Long are in an open relationship and is a serial offender with ladies wherever he coached. In Boston, he slept with team staffers that handles team accommodations and bookings. She is married and her husband caught him. Husband went to the team and they signed papers saying it was consensual and that should have been it. Later, she, later she said Udoka was inappropriate to her before they hooked up. Team told him to chill, but he kept doing whatever and then slept with the Celtics minority owner's wife. That was too much for them and they suspended Emi. It was, if it was mid-season, they would have fired him, but it's off-season, so more time to investigate and see what else he did. Udoka won't, res won't resign because he doesn't want to miss out on the payday, but he will likely never coach in the NBA again. Many were surprised he got a head coaching gig because of his past behaviors. So no one was assaulted and no one got pregnant, but this dude was wilding on the job. This makes me ask the question, do you believe that he should have been the only one that was suspended with this alleged information. Okay, so the kicker is I feel like everybody that was involved should be held accountable, but you also have to think about it. He, Those are different factors. You're talking that's multiple people. That means you at one point in time were harassing somebody. So these are all different things to get you suspended. So you don't know if one individual thing got him suspended or just everything all coming out to light is what technically got him suspended at this point. Because I, in my head, think about it, when it first came out, I just assumed, hey, it was one incident, one person. So I wanted to hold both parties accountable. But if you're telling me this is not just one person, this you also were harassing this person or harassing another person in the organization as well. And you got allegations about someone else's wife as well, then then yeah, I'm 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 suspending you because it's not that you a one and done person. You got repeat offenses, and they may be different offenses, but these all trigger what kind of culture is breeded where you're working. You put these rules in place to eliminate some of these things, and you're basically saying you don't want to follow the rules, and you're making them up as you go along. So now you have to be held for those consequences and those actions. I agree with what you're saying, but at the end of the day, it was still consensual. Now- it's when they reported that, you know, he was saying crude things. If they would have suspended him right then and there saying that, hey, he was saying cru crude things. That's why we're suspending him. I would have been fine with it. But you continue to let it go on. And it wasn't until he slept with the mi a minority owner's wife that that broke the camel's back. That would then entail that she broke company policy also. Correct. 
But and, that, and here, I was about to say that one is touchy though, because you don't know a, if the owner's and, wife has a role in that's true. The organization. But but here's the thing though, you put him on Front Street, but you didn't put the willing participants also on Front Street. I don't believe that that's right. They should have been on Front Street too, because that would have stopped the women who are being, you know, harassed. Because they're trying to figure out who did what, who did like, who was the person or who was the woman that was okay with this, who was the will, who was the willing party. So I feel like if you're gonna put him on Front Street, everybody else should have been on Front Street also. Okay, so you got to think about it. You can't put everybody on Front Street, and the reason you can't is the ones that he was harassing may be different than the people that were willing participants. So the people that he was harassing that did not follow through with his actions, no, you have to keep them separate. Then the ones that he actively, the you know, the person that he was actively dealing with that was signed on paper is different. And then the owner's wife that actively did something as well is something different. So those are three different instances. So maybe it was one person or maybe it was multiple people that he was harassing. No, you have to protect the ones that are being harassed. But now the person that signed that paper, yes, that particular person, because you said that you were in a relationship with him or it was consensual, yes, I feel like that particular person needs to be held accountable as well. That means you violated your job's policy. That means you need to be suspended as well. But here's the thing, though. It seemed like you're grabbing for straws, not you, but the Celtics organization because of the simple fact that he wasn't suspended for the crude language they just added that in because the main reason why like the like the gentleman said the reason why the camel's back was broken was because he slept with the minority owner's wife that could have been handled in-house you didn't have to have a press conference and all this stuff and put it on front street you could have just said hey he's suspended now if the word got on the street it got on the street but it wasn't through the celtics organization so if you're going to put the man on Front Street like that, I feel like everything else should also be put on Front Street, too. Why is he the only one that's singled out? But you have to think about what they said, though. They never said which straw broke the camel's back. They said multiple company violations. That's how they saved their tracks. Because, yes, other people started insinuating what was in the report, because think about it. When you get a report, it's probably only going to about two or three different people. So if they did not make the full report known, you don't know. It's speculation. It's speculation of him sleeping with somebody else's wife. It's speculation, but, because think about it, the only thing that you have on record is the consensual relationship. That's yes, the only but, thing on record. Yes, but but, but see, all of the other stuff that they are trying to throw in here too are things that they found out in their internal investigation and their external because think about it when you do an investigation you have to hire outside parties to come in and find all that the that's fine but the initial thing that was said was he suspended because of consensual relation so if you're off the bat coming out saying this press conference because all that other stuff came out afterwards but the initial suspension was he had a consensual consensual relationship with a staff member he broke company policy so if you're gonna come out and say that Everybody's looking at it as okay. If it was consensual, why is he the only one penalized? Correct. And like you said, I for that particular, if that was the main reason, yes, I do feel like the person that you were in consensual with also needs to be suspended. You telling me my job is I no longer can go to work. That means I can't come in. And this particular person was on record with me. Then yes, I feel like the same suspension you passed down to me. I'm not saying to the full extent you get in that full year, because think about it, his suspension probably has some of those other factors of things that also came out. But yes, do I feel like that person needs to be dealt with as well? Of course. I'm, I'm being held as the example. Guess what? You were my willing participant. You need to be held to some, some of that standard as well. Maybe not the full year, but you need to be held to something. I feel like she should have been outed because of the simple fact that when they initially came out and said he was getting suspended and they said that it was consensual, other stat women staff members were getting harassed because nobody knew who this woman was. Because all the other all, all all I'm saying is all the other stuff that came afterwards, yes, it came afterwards. But that initial report, I feel they both 
should have been put in front street. Correct. But you're saying harassed. You, I'm like, in general, people are going to say, hey, it's, I'm being harassed. But they also had to do their investigation. So that means everybody that... I'm talking, about in, I'm talking about innocent women who are on the staff were being harassed by fans and people who just heard the situation. Correct. They were being harassed because of the fact that the way the Boston Celtics handled it. So Correct, but they, you can't. But you can't. You can't predict what fans and what people outside of the organization are going to do. You can't predict it. But at the end of the day, if you said that it was consensual and you only putting disciplinary action on one person, that doesn't sound right. Like that's sounds, that comes off unfair. Correct, and that's you're right. It does come off unfair. So yes, they handled. They they fumbled that bag. Like they messed it up because yes, they should have had. Both parties, look, you're both suspended. Here's your suspension time. When your suspension is over, if you come back to this job, fine. If you go find you something else in the meantime, that's fine as well. But people were trying to figure out who those people were. So, of course, other females on in their franchise, yes, they were trying to play process of elimination. They was trying to get people to talk. Look, this is what I will say. That might, the, um, the minority owner, owner's wife who... Emil Adoka slept with. I'm sorry, if I was that minority owner, I would want to keep her under wraps and I definitely would get Emil Adoka out of there. Like, so I'm not mad at that. I'm just mad at the initial, the initial, the initial of how things played out. They said it was consensual and he was the only one on Front Street. So that's where I'm at with that. It's a matter of opinion.